85 miles east of Los Angeles, in the majestic mountains of San Bernardino National Forest, is the best kept secret on the West Coast, Lake Arrowhead. In 2003, builder David Richardson came to this quaint paradise to create a massive lake house for one of his clients. The Lake Arrowhead is the key to this house. When you look at it from any part of the lake, it stands out like a beacon. And most people think it's a hotel. It's just the showpiece of the lake. It was really designed around the lake. At almost 16,000 square feet, the $14 million three-story mansion has 10 bedrooms and 17 bathrooms. It's one of the largest lots on the lake, with 150 feet of shoreline. Construction of the home began in 2003. It was a four-year process. Over that time, the first year basically was spent doing the foundation and the main structure on the first floor. The second year was framing the house. The third year was doing the mechanical work and all of the guts of the house. And then the final year was used to do all the detail work. The biggest reason that it took as long as it did is because the sheer size. You think you're building the equivalent of 10 houses. Size wasn't the only issue. Rain, snow, and even wildfires threatened to derail the project at every turn. Coming up. When the elevator opens up, it's just like, oh, this is what, this is what we created. We did it. it almost 180 degree view of the lake. Nestled in Southern California's San Bernardino National Forest, Lake Arrowhead is a prime location for a waterfront home. In 2003, builder David Richardson broke ground on a 16,000 square foot mega mansion for one of his clients. It took him four years to complete, and over that period of time, unpredictable weather caused some serious issues. Normally we're able to schedule so that we're doing the foundation and the framing in the spring and through the summer, and then by the time the winter comes, we're enclosed and we're doing the finish work at that time. We weren't able to do that. And so we had tractors removing snow. We had teams of people just shoveling the snow off of the flooring so that we could then begin framing. All of the materials and fixtures were carefully chosen, but getting them to the site was problematic. It's mountainous. There was countless things that had to be imported from overseas, from Canada, from back east. All of these things then have to be trucked up on these extremely small roads. The owner wanted an open, spacious first floor so all the rooms are connected, and some have an unobstructed view 120 feet down the length of the house. The billiards room needed a statement fireplace, so David relied on a design trick to get the look he wanted. Looks as if it's stainless steel with rivets, but in actuality, this is split stone, and then there's heat-treated rivets that we placed in here in order to give it that feel of stainless steel. Even with an open concept, the architect found a way to build in some private places. These sliding doors, these are also handcrafted. It's called cast glass, and that's how you get this beautiful texture as well as the design. No run-of-the-mill cabinets would do for this extraordinary kitchen. David had to go overseas to find the right craftsman for the job. The cabinet maker is a master carpenter out of Germany, and you can see all this is hand inlaid with dark woods and then the lighter woods, all hand inlaid in order to give you that beauty and that contrast. To help manage a high-tech house of the future is a sophisticated touchscreen computer system. This could operate anything in this house. And this is such an enormous house. You need something like this in order to be able to control it. The house is so advanced, it comes with a full set of instructions. You know how you'd get a car and you'd have an owner's manual for a car? Well, this is the owner's manual for this house. This book tells you everything that you need to know about this house. So many rooms, so many levels. Luckily, there's a swanky elevator that travels from the basement to the top floor. On the second floor, it opens onto the master bedroom, a spacious, elegant space with soaring ceilings and a centerpiece that took nearly a month to perfect. When you come in here, the first thing that strikes you is the fireplace. The metal piece has over 150 hours of craftsmanship in it, and you'll see that this has grain to it, exactly the same as wood would have grain. And you have to rub this with steel wool all in one continuous direction in order to give it that grain. 
In a traditional home, most high ceilings are only on the top floor, but this mansion also has them on the lower levels. You can look up and see the ceiling. There's still a whole nother floor above us. We were able to create a vaulted ceiling in this room by raising the floor above, and then we cut this vaulted ceiling into the living room. Out of the master bedroom and into the his and hers bathroom, if we look up, we'll see the ceiling. That arched view of the blue pearly ceiling is made to emulate a wave. The master bathroom has a 180 degree view of Lake Arrowhead, which they didn't want to block with a bulky vanity mirror. If you hit this button, up will come a vanity so that you have that mirror in order to be able to do your makeup, in order to be able to get ready in the morning. One of the most impressive places in the house is the 6,200 square foot garage with enough space for 18 cars. And to turn around inside? As you come in, you could park your car on this turntable here. Right in front of the elevator, you could unload your car, get your groceries upstairs, and then with the hit of a button, the car would then turn around 180 degrees, and as that car turns around the 180 degrees, you then can drive straight back out the garage. A lavish lakeside mansion with electronic features, vaulted ceilings, and a gargantuan garage. David's creation is the ultimate waterfront home. I know that I will never touch anything of this magnitude again. I'm very, very proud of having participated in it. It's unsurpassed in its size, in its quality, in its beauty. I enjoyed every minute of it.